the gravesite of Mr. George Jones. By far one of the greatest country musician, uh, country music singers of all time. Beautiful, beautiful memorial for the possum, Mr. George Jones. No one could sing a sad country song like George, that's for sure. Very, very detailed on the grave, as you can see. I like how they've got the pictures from young to old. George Jones. He stopped loving her today. Across the top. And this guy has some stuff about his wife Nancy. She's still alive. And right below him is another country music icon. He was broke when he died and George Jones paid for his funeral and memorial. He had such huge success with Take This Job and Shove It. I'm the only hell my mama ever raised, Mr. Johnny Paycheck. And then right across from Mr. Paycheck is Rob Baronis. He was a kicker for the Tennessee Titans. A little windy today here in Nashville. <laughs> Looks like they weed eated on the grave here and didn't get all off. I'm assuming him and George must have been friends because he's buried in George's plot area. Let's walk down here and see Billy Sherrill in the same plaza. He worked with George and Tammy. He co-wrote several of Tammy's biggest hits in their early years. From your good girl's gonna go bad to... Whew. A little windy today, folks. And George spent some money on all this. Or George's family. I don't know if he bought it when he was still alive or... Uh... What, but... Right here in the shade tree is Billy Sherrill. He died in 2015. So. And right here is Hall of Fame songwriter. Jerry Chestnut and his wife. And she's still alive, looks like. They don't have a date on there, so I don't know. But she has a marker. So I'm not sure. Maybe they just hadn't put the date. But. No, oh, we'll get on this side of it. <laughs> songwriter of the Year, 1972. International Songwriter of the Year, 1973. Boop, boop. 